Hey girl, hey, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be taking you step by step on how I achieved my no foundation makeup look. If you want to see how I went from this to this, then just keep on watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. starting off with the bobbi brown face base and i apply this all over so we have a smooth base to start with so for years i've struggled with finding the perfect makeup routine where it wasn't too much but just enough and after testing out so many products and finding all my right shades i finally curated the perfect routine that's not only consistent but reliable and it fits me so perfectly my makeup lasts so much longer if you suffer from an oily t-zone i highly suggest you try this out it makes such a huge difference in how my makeup lasts now i'm going to spot correct and i usually will only do this if i have any dark spots or small blemishes or any redness so that I can have an even skin tone since I'm not using foundation. I like to use the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 360 as it does oxidize over time and pretty much will match my skin tone. While I let the concealer dry, I quickly go over my eyebrows with the ABA Clear Brow Gel. Let me tell y'all something, ever since I got my brows laminated and tinted, I barely have to do anything to them, which makes it such a breeze on a day-to-day -day and especially on my no makeup looks. Now since I want a more clean look, I am going to use this Rem Beauty Concealer Pot in the shade Medium 10W and this angled brush and quickly just clean up under my brows. I went ahead and blended out my spot concealer, so now it's time to apply concealer everywhere else I want to highlight. So under my eyes, chin, forehead, and the bridge of my nose. And for this step, I'm using the Rare Beauty Concealer in 380. Now, I don't always contour. It just depends on how bronzy I want to feel that day, if we're being honest. But when I do, I use my Fenty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. What I love so much about this matchstick in particular is how it blends out so smoothly. And if I ever wait too long to blend it out, I just use a setting spray to help me blend it deeper. Um, I think in this video, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And once I finish blending out my contour, then I just go ahead and blend out all my concealer. Now I'm going to take that same Rim Beauty concealer and apply it to the inner corners just so I can brighten it up a little bit more. When I tell y'all I love, love, love this concealer way more than I even anticipated. It was honestly like a blind buy, but probably one of my favorite latest makeup purchases. And also this concealer is pretty thick, so no need to let it dry down for too long. I would give it no more than a minute and then you can blend it out. Once I blended it out, I took my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey, dabbed it on the back of my hand, and then applied it to the areas where I 
ないと思います。for my lips it's just like the perfect pinky but natural lip my no foundation makeup look in literally 10 minutes it's flawless light airy and most importantly no foundation involved i'm so happy i was able to get this out to y'all just in time for the summer and i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to comment down below if you plan to try this routine out and if you like this video and want to see more content like this just hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel thanks so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye